No cap, bro. I ain't meant this geek to unbox them in a minute now. Especially because it always seem like I'm the last to unbox everything nowadays. But seeing that I'm four years behind on the tablet now, we gotta go check this thing out. And I got a book cover keyboard from Verizon. All right, y'all, y'all already know what it is. We back at it again at the legendary unboxing table. Woo, I've been looking forward to this. So damn, I really wish I had it right now. I don't have my Galaxy Tab S6, but this is basically what it looks like. So this is gonna be the Tab S5e, and this is the size I'm coming from. So this is a 10.5 inch. It don't look too much different from the Tab S6, so that's basically what I'm upgrading from. And this is the Tab S9 Plus right here. So we got a 12.4 inch screen, and I got the beige color over here. So if we go and put this up on the Samsung app, I actually paid 1,120 bucks if you go and check this out. So I didn't get the Verizon one, cause they ain't have it in the color I want. All they had was graphite and they ain't having that 512 gigs so i don't know why they do that with the carrier one first off why isn't there an unlock one and second why y'all only giving me these options with the carrier samsung really just be shooting they sales in the foot but yeah but i got the top tier specs and everything like that the 12.4 inch yeah i'm looking forward to this man so coming from a 10.5 inch tablet to a 12.4 gonna be different and also with my tab s6 i also got a book cover keyboard but that is just ass on there the problem with samsung like back then when they had the tab s6 it just had this stupid ass adhesive on the back where you go ahead and just put it on the tablet it wasn't no magnets and nothing like that there was no magnets and nothing like that it's just dumb but even on the tab s5 v they had magnets on there but it's just i don't understand that was back then this is now anyway we got the tab s9 plus over here and verizon actually had this on sale so it's actually like under 200 bucks so yeah galaxy tab s9 plus and beige like i told y'all and this thing looking clean bro on the left side we got galaxy tab s9 plus on the right side we got the samsung logo on the back we just got some info so if we go and zoom in on this one we got nothing too important but if we're gonna check this out real quick we got tab s9 plus 12.4 inch we got what's inside the box and all the other cool stuff sorry but and i don't know if y'all notice or not but i'm recording on the sony zv4 and i got some of the things figured out like the overheating and all of this anyways uh, <laughs> y'all know what it is let's go and get into this box or wait hold up a second samsung y'all changing it up now hold up a second bro you can just peel it now samsung switching it up for real oh snap i ain't even see that so this is of course i don't got no fingernails so i can't even do this but samsung actually got pool tabs now why my voice get so high right now it's just i'm okay samsung i see y'all i see y'all they ain't used to do it like this so they always had just tape on their boxes but now they actually putting pool tabs on here that's crazy samsung in the big leagues now they doing it big now okay samsung so let's go and get this thing open real quick Woo, there we go. We got the Samsung logo, and then I actually do got a screen protector for this. So I got this up off Amazon. It ran me for like, what, 15 bucks or something like that. It actually came from my Amazon Warehouse Fulfillment Center, whatever you call it, out here in my city. So it came the next day. But man, just picking this up, it don't really feel too heavy or nothing like that either. All right, so we just look around this thing. We got the tablet. We got the Samsung logo. Let's just go and peel this off. That is crazy, though. I was not expecting Samsung to have pull tabs on here now. So they want to be doing big shit now, huh? But all right, let's go ahead and get this thing up out of this cover here and oh man i'm so geek for this Woo! oh man i'm geek let's go man oh yeah just feeling it and everything it feels nice bro just look around this thing real quick so the only thing that's kind of whack about this is that samsung actually used to have the whole stand and everything for these tablets so if y'all look at my video i don't remember what it was called but you can actually go and put this on a pogo dock and then you could just use it for like the daily board or whatever it's called that thing was nice it's not gonna work with these newer tablets no more and they should make them again especially now that google got that whole pixel tablet with the pixel dock they gotta hop on this trend but let's go and boot this thing up real quick hold up a second do we got vibration on here oh we do yeah we got the samsung galaxy oh snap i don't know if y'all can hear it in my voice man but i don't geek for real for real like i ain't even over hyping this right now but all right let's go and check out the rest of the one thing in the box so let's go ahead and see what we got here so we got a usb a the usb c cable and it's actually a long cable so all right that's cool it's not like them six foot phone cables and then we got the sd card removal tool so yes it do take an sd card which is pretty dope and also obviously see if you got the cellular one that you can put a sim card up in there and then we got a user manual and stuff like that but you know we do with that we throw it to the side as always but loki i'm gonna actually throw this back in the box so we can keep this all organized all right so y'all do not understand the hype with this right now so we got the tab s9 plus i didn't want the ultra that thing was just mad big i couldn't do that i might get it in the future but i definitely can't do that as my main tablet for sure like that thing bigger than my laptop bro like what's the point the tab s9 ultra is literally a miniature tv and then they got the notch which i'm sure i'll get used to but still anyway we got the tab s9 plus over here you can see that we got the camera and the landscape orientation so i was coming from the tab s6 and you can see that we actually had the camera here at the top 
top right here. We got some bezels, which is actually pretty dope. I like some bezels on here because I can actually hold the tablet. But if we look at the right side, you can actually see that we got a couple of speakers here and we got a microphone. So we actually got four speakers all around the tablet. We got the USB-C port here on the right. And at the top, you can see that we got a volume button, we got a power button, and then we got a couple more microphones and then we got our SD card tray. And then in the bottom, you can see that we got all the connections here for the Pogos. So all right, man, this is a hoo-hoo. I can't, oh man, I, I can't even get over the hype right now. Well, okay, all right, call now, Latrell. Calm down. Let's go ahead and set this thing up, man. I'll get back to y'all. y'all set up Woo -woo! that hype ain't over yet that hype ain't over yet i'm gonna have to get used to the screen though the size of this thing i ain't used to it yet this thing actually bigger than i remember and you know that's what she said but i don't know how i managed to forget it but we do have the s pen inside the box and i don't know how i skipped over that but here it is so we got a bluetooth s pen over here and all we gotta do is just go ahead and lock this real quick and we can just go ahead and throw this on the back like that so i don't know if y'all remember this this ain't my tab s7 but if you have the s pen here for these older galaxy tabs like the tab s7 you can only put it this way as you can see right there and also you can see here with this whole strip right here is connected with the camera but yeah you can only put it that way you could put it this way i guess if you really wanted to but it ain't really gonna stick on there and it definitely ain't gonna charge but if you go ahead and put it with the tab s9 here if i go and flip this around real quick you can put it either way you want to so you can go and flip it this way or this way and it'll still charge also you can see here with that strip right there it ain't even connected to the camera like it is with the tab s7 but let me go and get back in front of the camera real quick so look i also geek with the tablet i somehow managed to forget to unbox this this is one thing samsung ain't got no easy pull tabs for which is understandable it's an accessory even though it's expensive as fuck. like i just told you the price of it but this is what i'm most geeked about because even though the book cover keyboard was ii for the tab s6 it was just that adhesive part that was pissing me off because it kept falling off the tablet anyway ain't really nothing to see up on here so let's go ahead and get this thing up out of here real quick and okay so we got the same cover here for the samsung tablet that we got taking this off real quick let's go and get this up out of here and here we go so we got the magnet cover here as you can see right here let me go and take this off so this goes in the back of the tablet so this is my favorite part about these galaxy tabs and their book cover keyboard so you can actually use this book cover keyboard without the actual keyboard part i got an ipad air i barely use it but at the same time like we got the magic keyboard which is cool and all but you can't take off the keyboard part i could just use this as a kickstand and leave it at that but with the book cover keyboard you can't even do that but with that being said, we got this part here at the top, which is semi-translucent, which is actually what holds the S Pen in place just in case it falls off the magnet. And then we got the book cover keyboard itself. So we don't got a full-size keyboard, but we do got a track pack here, and it's nice and big. <laughs> How many times am I gonna do this in one video? Nice and big, y'all know what it is, anyway. So all we gotta do is just put this on the back here and it just magnetizes like that, like Samsung shoulda did with the Tab S6. And then we can just go ahead and put the stand up and it seems like the magnets is pretty strong on here so it ain't really gonna fall off and nothing like that. Like you gotta go ahead and put some force on it to go ahead and take it off. Obviously you ain't gonna break it or nothing like that but like it got some force so it ain't gonna come off easily so that's cool. Also I did hear you can use the same keyboard that was from the Tab S7 and the Tab S8 but it's just gonna give you a warning message. Anyway, all we gotta do is just attack Attach this right here and wait hold up hold on there we go and they basically just got a whole laptop right here so that's pretty dope so it already prompts you right out the box if you want to go and start samsung dex when you connect this thing so i figured it would do that because it did that with the tab s6 which is cool so you can basically set it up where every time you connect the book cover keyboard it's gonna pull up samsung dex so you can disable that if you want to or it can just not turn on at all but i think i'm gonna leave that off because samsung dex is dope but i don't want that on all the time but yeah the trackpad is nice and fluid and everything like whoo samsung i see y'all but yeah we got wi-fi 6c we got that new snapdragon processor which i ain't even gonna cap out you know what the fuck it is but i heard it's fast so i'm gonna just take the other youtubers word for it but look like we got pre-installed right out the box we got clip studio good notes and luma fusion so that kind of pissed me off because i actually paid for luma fusion so if it's free on here then damn but yeah let's go check out this front camera real quick so Okay, I mean, that's decent. Let me know what y'all think about the quality up on this. So I'm using an in-display fingerprint scanner right here, and it's actually pretty decent. So when I had the Tab S6, that shit was like, I mean, it's, it's eyed, I guess, but at the same time, like, it's also so like it just depends especially when you register in it half the time it just fails and shit, so it just pissed me off by here that was easy but that 
bro, I ain't even go front. I'm kind of thinking about getting a Tab S9 and a Tab S9 Ultra right now. Because, like, I just want the different sizes. But when I just think about getting it, all I can hear is just some cast register sound effects. Because, damn, that's a lot of branches to be throwing like this. But let me know what y'all think about the Tab S9 Plus, man. So, I like this size right here. I think I'm going to like it anyway. Because it's like a good Goldilocks version of what they had out. And plus, I just wanted a bigger size from my Tab S6. Like, I know we have, like, 0.5 inches bigger. But that ain't even that much bigger. You can ask her. But anyway, I'm up out of here, man. So, I'm going to go ahead and install the screen protector and go and play with this some more and i'll let y'all know how i'm feeling about this i just been reluctant to upgrade my tablet because like i have the galaxy fold i have the z fold 3 i've been playing with the old g fold since like it came out man y'all know how i am about that ever since i got that thing bro it's just like that thing is clutch as f i love my fold man i kind of just like neglected my tab s6 after i got that but now that i got the tab s9 man i don't know <laughs> The Tab S9 Plus is just a different beast, bro. Like, I don't think you can replace this for a fold. Well, let's see about them folded tablets, though. But anyway, I'm up out of here, man. So hopefully you enjoyed this. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, go and give this video a like. And if you really liked it, go and subscribe. But go and follow me on my social media on Instagram and X and Facebook. But Instagram and X are most active. Like I said before, fuck you, Elon Musk. Because I got to go through this whole procedure where I screw up seeing Twitter and everything every single time I do this outro now. But I got some time to spend with the Tab S9. And also, I ain't tell y'all this, but I also ordered the Z Flip 5. And I ordered... Wait, what else did I ordered? Oh, yeah. I ordered the full five. Ooh, I can't wait for that, man. I'm so hyped for this. I'm hyped for this, bro. And I hope y'all gonna be hyped for this too, man, because I got the new color of the Z45 and a terabyte, and I got the flip five in the new color too, 512 gig. I'm gonna be comparing the original fold and the full five, and I'm gonna be comparing the original flip and the flip five to see where Samsung came in the last five generations. But y'all be smooth, man. I'm gonna see you on the next one. Peace out. Alright, so I just edited on the Tab S9 Plus. I got to go and make some final edits on my Lenovo Yoga 9.9 laptop, but honestly, it ain't as bad as I thought it would. So it do got some issues. Like, I'm editing in 4K, which I don't know, it could be the issue, but whenever I go ahead and stop and play on here, it got a delay, which kind of screwed up the whole thing for me. And whenever I go ahead and put, like, an overlay title on this thing, it's got a delay to it, too. So it's like, when I watch the video back, it ain't aligned to what I say. Again, I don't know if it's because it's 4K or not, but, like, it's definitely an issue for sure. But overall, it ain't really that bad at all. Fusion actually pretty decent and the tab s9 it actually handled it pretty decent too so i'm on 56 percent and i started this at 100 now i don't know when i started i gotta see so it's been on battery for two hours and 54 minutes so that ain't that bad that's around the time that i started but now all i gotta do is render this out and we should be good